up guys? Today we're doing something different. I haven't done it in a long time. I'm doing a goat in. Yeah! The radium. Check it out. everybody welcome back i am your host steve ricardo thank you hey smash the like subscribe down below you guys are amazing um interactive right i have never seen this before this is the new um well, maybe new uh but it's new to my hands uh the godin 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 uh radium the uh rn as a matter of fact rn totally so this is cool man neck through or at least, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, I'm not very familiar with these guitars. I am not at all. I know I've seen them around, and uh, there's a whole lot of uniqueness to them. Uh, I know back in the day, uh, I know Slash might have used them for in the studios, things like that, but never really seen them in anybody specific that I know, that I follow, who use these. Uh, needless to say, they're really a cool... This is really a nice setup. I mean, you got nothing in the back of it. Everything's down to the front, so all your wiring's here. It's, a I guess, a cross between a telly and, uh, yeah, a hot-rotted telly, I guess, kind of like that. So it's pretty cool. I, I like it. I've been having I had it for a couple days and been kind of messing around with it. So, um, yeah, let's quickly discuss a little bit about the guitar and what's it made of and all this stuff. So let's do that right now. So this is the Radium RN, and I'll just read it right from their website. Uh, presenting a new uh, breed of single cut guitars, uh, which combines all the best elements of the radiator and the stadium into one. I guess these are two models. Uh, the Radium, it offers some unique features compared to more traditional single cutaways, solid bodies, such as short scale, 24 and three quarter, set neck and a three and three headstock design for comfortable playing and bending cool uh the radium also features equipped with a hsh pickup configurations from obviously it's a humbucker single coil and humbucker uh a multitude of tonal possibilities and you know reinventing the vintage old style plate right i guess that's what they say which has volume push pull tone and a angled super five-way switch that allows neutral sweep of your right hand for easy pickup selection. The guitar is voiced with a custom uh, Godin Zebra humbucker for intense tones with an additional Godin custom Cajun nickel single coil in the middle. The carbon black model has an eye-catching finish worthy of classic age vintage guitar. Totally. Body. Canadian. Uh, Laurentine uh, Basswood. Well, the neck is silver leaf maple set neck, finger rosewood, radius is 12 inches, scale length 24, graph tech for the nut, uh, width, uh, nut width is 1.6875, if you guys are interested, frets 22 of them. Um, so the neck pickup, of course, the humbucker, middle is that Cajun, the um, bridge is also a custom humbucker, vintage tailpiece, wraparound, five piece, carbon black, Finish with semi-gloss. Um, yeah, there you go. Bada boom. Um, let's check it out. All right. Without further ado, I'm not wasting your time. And you guys are kind of here. So I'm plugged in my usual. If you guys have been following me for a long time, if you're new, so I always just go real simple, no effects, a little bit of reverb in the background. And right now, I've been using my Marshall JCM 2000 orange head, going through my two-tone, uh, two notes, and to my George Lynch uh, caps. All right. Right off the top of the thing I can tell you right now is the single coil is kind of in my way. Um, I'm kind of hitting it. So, but otherwise, uh, yeah, without further ado. So we are at 
the bridge. <laughs> Not bad. It's got some crunch. Of course, the humbuckers always do. So let's go. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just going to go up each click. All right. So one click. <laughs> I guess I'm in the middle. One more towards the, uh, the neck. Bluesier sound, right? Totally. I'm all the way at the neck. All right. I'm going to admit, that pickup right there gets in my way. Um, I mean, the intonation is great. Um, getting your hand down here, it's nice. Nothing really nice. But I just, yeah, I've got two spots to play. Before the single coil and after the single coil. It does get in my way, but sounds great. So, um, these are worth in Canada about $16.99. Um, granted, because it is, you know, a set neck and everything else, and it does feel nice. The neck feels great. It's super smooth. Um, there's no bat spots in it. The frets feel great. It's comfortable sitting with it, which is always a bonus. Um, but yeah, that's the only flaw. Is unless you can lower that pickup, which you probably can, um, I would definitely take it down quite a bit, because it is hanging up there quite a bit in your way. You know, make sense? I would definitely take it down a good quarter inch, half inch, but I'm not a big fan of it in, in where it's located. Um, hey, the, there we go. Let's see what that does. I'm back over here at the, uh, the bridge. <laughs> A 
little tinny. Anyway, um, what else can I tell you? Long and McQuaid across Canada or down the States, if you guys are looking for something like this, it does have a cool look to it. But that would be my recommendation, at least on my part. I like the wood. It looks fantastic. It does remind me of a James Stanway guitar. You know, it does. It does remind me of a James Stanway and his custom work. If you see my other episodes, he's on there and he does some fantastic work. But uh, hey, James, what do you think? Totally. Um, the plate on the headstock, that is unique. That's different. Um, yeah, check that out. Right? Kind of different. So, half and half, guys. Uh, do check it out. Thanks for subscribing. Hope this uh, shows your question. If you are looking for a Godin guitar, go to, not a Godin, Godin. Godin. Potato, potato. <laughs> All right. Um, subscribe down below. Hope you guys had a good time. Hopefully I can give you some more information on this. Comment down below, do you have one? And how do you like the pickup configuration and something like this? And what do you do to make it different? I want to hear about it. What do you do to make this suited for you? All right, cheers. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>